Okay, as a brief introduction to Blender's interface, this is Blender as of version 2.71, and there's the splash screen, which has uh, some of my recent files in it. Yours won't show that, but um, this is what you'll see when you open Blender. So I will click to get rid of the splash screen, and we've got um, a fairly typical menu bar on the top showing um, file menu, uh, a render menu, window and help files including the manuals and release logs. Next to that we have um, what kind of setup we've got Blender in. We could choose compositing or game logic or the default. So these are different setups and you can add your own. Um, this is the scene we're looking at at the moment. You can have various scenes open in Blender all at once. This is the renderer that we're choosing. We've got Blender Render, Blender Game and Cycles. Um, the version number, how many vertices are in the currently selected object, which is eight, how many faces, how many triangles, how many objects we've got selected, one of three, how many lamps are in the scene, how much memory this scene is uh, taking up, and what we've got currently selected, the name of the object. So we've got camera, light, and cube. Uh, further down, we've got the uh, this left-hand menu, um, which has some tabs along the side. We've got tools, transform tools, uh, editing tools, uh, create tab with all our primitives in and curves, lamps, and other objects. Relations, which is um, uh, group editing, parents, etc. Animation, which we'll, we'll cover at a later date. Physics, again, we'll cover that another time. And grease pencil, which allows you to join uh, to uh, draw uh, in the viewport. And we can toggle this menu by hitting the T key. There you go, closed, open, closed, open. Uh, and then we have the main viewport window with our grid and our objects in. Over the other side, we've got uh, the outliner at the top, very, very important with a powerful search function. And we can select whether our objects are viewable in the viewport, whether they're selectable and whether they're renderable. And then in this menu a little further down, I'll just actually grab this and pull this out a little. We've got the render menu and tooltip tells you what you're looking at exactly. Render menu, render layers, scene menu, world, object menu. So we're looking at a cube at the moment. Constraints, track two constraints, etc. Modifiers, loads and loads of modifiers. Mirror modifier, very useful. Um, Boolean build, all kinds of good stuff in there. That's actually mesh tools, vertex uh, groups, etc. Materials, we can uh, make a new material, add diffuse specular uh, shading options. Um, textures, we can add either uh, procedurally generated textures or image planes or images, whatever. Physics tab, uh, sorry, uh, particle tab, which we won't get into just yet. And physics. Um, so we'll go back to the render. Um, underneath the viewport, we've got a timeline which defaults to 250 frames, and we can right click and scrub along there. There's nothing to see at the moment. And then we've got video controls along the bottom play forwards, play backwards, previous keyframe, back to start, etc. etc. Um, along the bottom of this uh, viewport, um, We've got what kind of a view we're looking at at the moment. So we've got 3D view. We could look up in another timeline, UV image editor, etc. Lots and lots of different uh, editor types. Um, we've got various menus that are particular to whatever kind of view we're looking at. Okay, we're currently looking at this scene in object mode. We could look at it in edit mode, uh, which means that we can pick these elements, vertices, etc., and move them around. Um, what else have we got? Sculpt, mode, vertex, weight, and texture. We'll look at those later. Currently in uh, solid view, we could go wireframe, whatever. Yeah, wireframe, textured, which doesn't really, well, it shows lighting. There's a solid view, and there's a texture view, which shows the lights effect on the cube, and the render view, which we won't do just yet. This is whether the gizmo is activated or not. Well, I'll just cover these as well, this one as well. That's how objects are grouped, uh, where the pivot point is. And we'll 
talk about this little 3D cursor later on, this red and white circle. Again, very useful. This is the gizmo tool. So that's, uh, select an object, but there we've got the move gizmo. Okay. Rotate gizmo and scale gizmo. Okay, all fairly straightforward stuff. And at the moment we're on global coordinates. We have local, normal, gimbal, and view. This is a layers tab. So this is, we've got up to 20 layers. And um, this relates to, uh, it's renderable in the scene as well. And you can add render layers. Uh, so some objects might not render, but you might want them in the viewport. So whatever. Um, there's a few of the buttons here that they won't, we won't get into just yet. And then that's to render the, this particular viewport. Um, if you want more than one viewport window, you can grab either of these, this triangular little uh, group of lines at the top, or there's one at the bottom here as well. But we'll use the top one. So if we wait till the cursor gets to a cross and click inside there and drag, you can see we get an exact copy of the window we just used. So we can change the view. And let's change the view to look to the top view. There we go. Or front view. And notice I've messed around with Q, which is why it's uh, slightly off center. Um, so there we go. So we can hit T to get rid of that menu. And if we want to join these windows together again, we go back over this little corner piece here, click and hold and drag across. And we get this arrow, faint arrow shape here. And that means that this window is going to go into this window. And then we let go, when we let go, bang, there we are. Um, there's also another toggle at this side. So that's N to operate that one. And that covers... Um, some view specific elements. We've also got uh, transform options at the top there, whether the grease pencil is active, which we'll cover later on, what kind of camera lens where this viewport is using, whether we can see the grid, um, whether we're using a background image. If you're uh, modeling from a background image, you can, you can import it there. So that's a very, very brief overview of uh, Blender's main viewport and, and the setup that you'll find when you first open Blender. Okay, bye for now.